Let me know your thoughts on this, man. I think that stable coins could allow us to kick the can down the road in a healthy way. And I mean that I say that because like, you know, we went through this uh, money bag. Joe said it's going to be a pandemic phase where we printed all this money. And that is a funny name right there. I don't know if you made that up. That's good. <laughs> money bag Joe. <laughs> He said it's gonna be a pandemic. So we went through that. And uh, you know, we printed more money in the short time than we did throughout history combined. But when you think about a stable coin, other countries experience way worse inflation, right? And we talk about stable coins being the best business model in crypto because, like, for example, when you go buy a USDC or USDT, you can go on their website, you know, they get audited. Well, USDC gets audited every month, I believe, but you can see what's backing. The stable coin and it's mostly like commercial paper treasuries and things like that so the reason why it's the best business model in crypto is because when you buy a stable coin they're essentially giving you a digital dollar they're taking your real dollars they're going to buy short-term treasuries and they're not passing that yield over to the user it would be exactly like you go into a bank you depositing and you're getting a zero percent apy while they're just investing your money so stable coins make they make more than the Ethereum blockchain. Like when I say it's the best business model, mm -hmm. I literally mean it. So when I think about that and I think about these other people in other countries who can't get access or they only have access to their currency and it's fucked. And now they have the option to be able to buy a more stable currency in the US dollar. That's going to cause a demand for US dollars to increase worldwide. And I feel like it can just make the dollar stronger and enable us to kick the can down the road in a more healthy way, like I said. What's your thoughts on that? I think it's if it's used um, as a, like a complementary currency to the dollar, I would agree, which it kind of seems like it's going that way. What which, do you mean by complementary? So there's different types of currencies. Obviously, you got your legal tender or your, your main currency. And then you have your complementary currencies. They usually operate usually within like a local system or alongside of whatever the legal tender is. And there are countless examples of this throughout history, actually. Uh, if you look up Switzerland, I forgot the currency name. It was a complementary currency that they were using in addition to the franc. And uh, it allowed like certain areas in Switzerland to be inoculated from recessionary activity because they were using that complementary currency in circulation in their local communities. And so if it was something like that, if it was more widely adopted as a medium of exchange, you know, maybe so to where it has like constant velocity, I should say. If it's more of, you know, on and off ramp for investing, which actually that's kind of what it is now for the most part. But yeah, we've seen it used for more of a, you know, on and off ramp in terms of getting in and out of the market in a quicker way for the most part. That's what we've really seen it used for. Um, so that way people don't have to exit the exchange fully or whatever reason that they want to hold money in stable coins, right? Or maybe they just want to be in the space, but they don't want to be in a volatile asset. So they'll simply just put it in USDC to say that they're inside, they're in the market type deal, you know. And so if that's the case, I can't see it prolonging. What was the initial question? Prolonging our issues, like kicking the can down the road, right? Yeah, helping the dollar remain stronger longer. Yeah, no, not sta not just stable coins in general, especially if they remain on the trajectory that they're on now. But the federal reserve using principles from stable coins with a cbdc that's what i think would kick the can down the road even greater uh just because you know i've been saying for a long time in terms of real-time data uh decision making having a cbdc is like the panacea for the fed that's like having true inflation something like true inflation but for every aspect of your monetary policy decisions and so they'd be able to like pivot make uh decisions a lot faster you'll be able to respond reverses uh versus react actually even in that position and i think that's the only way we'll like really truly kick the can down the road is if they find some way to implement a cbdc way quicker than we've anticipated using like principles from stable coins uh, but stable coins themselves you know they're more of an off-ramp on-ramp slash store value legit maybe they'll become more of a medium of exchange but it hasn't happened in the way that I thought they would. In like 2017, I remember thinking like, this is gonna be the reason people are transacting in Bitcoin if you have a stable coin built on top of Bitcoin. I was saying it's 2017. Uh, it didn't happen exactly like that, of course. And uh, 
yeah, now you see that it's more so on ramp, on ramp, store value, simple as that. So I would agree, like, just for like a few minor differences, I guess. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And I, I should have clarified more. We're kind of on the same page here. Like, I'm not thinking USDC is going to be like the end all be all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. USDC is like, that is like the government stable coin already in my eyes, you know. Yeah. Um, like Jeremy Allaire, that boy inserted himself in, inside of the government. I feel like he seems like a politician slash executive that's been in the Wall Street for 30 years uh, when he speaks. So he's like planting himself there. So they're like <laughs> our government stable coin, 100%. That yeah. if they were to recommend one or use one as a proxy to build the CBDC, they would use USDC, I think. For sure. Especially since Coinbase is like the custodian and they own part of uh, Circle. 